The whole point of this is that Togashi released the ending of Hunter Hunter. Tell <laughs> Or one ending that he has in mind because he's not sure if he's going to be alive to end it. To end it. To end it. Togashi says, for the ending, I have prepared three scenarios, A, B, and C. When considering the proportional reaction from readers, ranging from satisfaction to dissatisfaction, the ending A is deemed satisfactory by 50% and unsatisfactory by 20%. This does not necessarily imply a high rating, but for me... Reaching it will be secure in a way that doesn't complicate matters with excessive criticism, in my belief. So, Togashi is explaining this like a Nen power. You can understand why he's the author of Hunter Hunter. There aren't many things that would make me make a video on this channel necessarily that's not about One Piece. But I feel like it's, feel like it's important. If you've known me, watch my channel, rather. Because this is the internet. You don't really know anybody. If you watch my channel for a while, or if you've seen a stream, you understand how much I really care about Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter is arguably... My favorite manga anime up there with One Piece, FMA, B, the likes of that. And so it's been a journey, to say the least, for people that have been following Hunter x Hunter. And the reason why I'm making this is because I'm sure there's some crossover between the people that like Hunter x Hunter and like One Piece. At least a few, right? And it's important enough to talk about it because this is, there's only one word, sad. There are other words we can use, but that encapsulates everything that it is because so togashi the author of hunter hunter and yu yu hakusho he has been going through health problems for a long time we're going to talk about yu yu hakusho a bit but i think that the thing that makes this even more sad is the fact that yu yu hakusho he didn't really get to end it the way he wanted to there were breaks in between due to shueisha and the work schedule etc so that was mired in uncertainty and not seemingly not the best situation with hunter hunter that's continued but not necessarily because of shueisha but also but more so because of his health now you could look at shueisha and japan and that culture and mangaka and how they're treated and the deadlines they have to meet it creates this environment of unhealthy mangaka they have to push forth and push through a lot of these situations in which they're hurt or they're unhealthy they're sick but they got to get the the manga out because people want to read manga we've seen time and time again even in the most recent issue of one piece not sure if it's a health thing. I believe Oda came out and said that it was due to him partying too much. Could be lying. Could be something that just put us at ease. Who knows? The chapter was unfinished. Horikoshi just happened to before. JJK has happened to before. Where the chapter's unfinished. And they just threw some scraps together. And it's like, yo, here it is. Sorry. First, I gotta tell you guys my perspective. Right? Because a bit separate. Two, three years ago. Well, before that. I want to say probably close to 10 years ago, or not close, not like seven, eight years ago, I watched the Berserk anime from 1990 something, I think. And I liked it. I made a video on it. It's still on my old channel. And I never got back to it. Two or three years ago, three, four years ago, something like that. I went back and I read all of Berserk, got caught up, immediately fell in love with it. It is a gruesome, dark, uncomfortable story, but I enjoyed it. Shortly after I get caught up, tragically, the author of Berserk, Kentaro Miyura, he passes away. Berserk has continued because it's one of his friends. They've continued to do it, but the people I've spoken to, it has not been the same. The point of it, though, is that this mangaka of a very popular series passed away. I can't explain exactly what I felt. It was kind of empty. It was like, damn, I will never get to see the author's vision fulfilled. Yes, that somebody else can come in and try to fill those, those shoes, but... It's not going to be the same thing, and it hasn't felt the same to people that have read it, because I haven't read it since. For Hunter Hunter, I care more about the series than I do with Berserk, even though I really care about Berserk, but Hunter Hunter, it's, it's flawless to me as a series. There are flaws, but to me, it's flawless, right? It's just, that's my bias. So throughout the years, I've been super excited about Hunter Hunter and Togashi coming back. He's on Twitter. He's dropping bits and pieces. But this, this makes me a bit wary because, you know, it's sometimes, it, it's realized some of the fears that you have, it's like... <laughs> We saw it happen to someone else. And so this is really scary. Enough babble, though. Let's read what Togashi put out. And these are leaks. There's apparently, there are a few sources. Um, Shonen Jump News. These are unconfirmed leaks. Just want to put that out. Togashi is going to reveal to some of his guests that he has three planned ending scenarios with three different levels of satisfaction, depending on his health. So the ending is going to depend on his health. But then he's going to reveal the fourth. And this is the ending if he passes away. Whereas like, he's saying, hey, this is the ending. If I never get to it, I'm giving you this ending now, just in case. And this is what we're going to read here. And this is by Pew Peace. Pew, pew. We're going to read the entire excerpt. Then we're going to react. 
Tagashi says, for the ending, I have prepared three scenarios, A, B, and C. When considering the proportional reaction from readers, ranging from satisfaction to dissatisfaction, the ending A is deemed satisfactory by 50% and unsatisfactory by 20%. This does not necessarily imply a high rating, but for me, reaching it will be secure in a way that doesn't complicate matters with excessive criticism in my belief. So, Togashi is explaining this like a Nen power. You can understand why he's the author of Hunter Hunter. He's explaining this like a Nen power. You can understand why he's the author of Hunter Hunter. He's explaining this like a Nen power. Just kidding. Here we are. Just wanted to make sure you were paying attention. But that's the first ending. As for ending B, opinions will be divided similarly between satisfaction and dissatisfaction. For ending C, I anticipate a satisfaction rate of 10% and dissatisfaction rate of 90%. Why do I keep it present even with a high rate of dissatisfaction? That's because it is my personal preference. But fundamentally, I want to think to the utmost extent about an ending to the point where I might not choose any of these three and create what I find most enjoyable, which is my ideal end goal. To give you a clearer picture, I will share scenario D, which fell out of the candidate scenarios for the ending. If fate takes me before finishing the manga, consider it the manga's ending. I would be happy if you forgave me for that. I don't know, bro. Like, how does this not move you? How are you not looking at this and saying, yo, this is real life? Where these people who have dedicated their lives to creating content for us to enjoy stories, characters for us to connect with, <sighs> it's a lot. Now let's read ending D. Next to the lake, a girl named Jin holding a fishing rod, stands motionless. Suddenly, the rod shakes violently, and Jin, startled, exclaims, I got him. I got the Lake Lord. She skillfully lifts the Lake Lord onto her shoulders and stands before a woman, saying, as I promised, I caught the Lake Lord, Mom. Jin approaches the woman and passionately declares, you must not tell me again. You must become a hunter. The woman with no tricks left nods her head. Jin, still carrying the Lake Lord on her shoulder, walks away. The mother comments to her husband that Jin's dream is to never leave the island and inherit their place. The father agrees laughing and the mother expresses her dissatisfaction saying, perhaps her desires will change later. But I want to know, you and Jin, why you like this? Surely it's because of the blood of Grandma Mito and Grandma Noko. The woman seems unaware that Grandma Mito and Grandma Noko are not related by blood and the father smiles knowingly. The woman expressing her unwillingness as a mother adds, but Grandpa Gon was a famous hunter and this girl will one day leave the island so at this point this woman is gon's granddaughter because she's saying grandpa gon was a famous hunter and so she has more of a hunter spirit like her grandfather and she's mentioning mito mito san because mito is jing's cousin and that's gon's foster mother so this woman is gon's granddaughter and she has a hunter spirit and she's hoping that jin wants to become a hunter but she doesn't seems like she just wants to remain on the island and inherit or take over her parents job inherit their will okay let's continue jin insists i will never leave the island although she's no longer visible in the heart of the forest she hears her parents conversation responds defiantly the father amused says you have a sharp eye he's a hunter bro it's just in her the scene changes to the shop continuing its work from mito's days the lake lord has been cleanly cut and its internal parts sorted jin thinks to herself while working mom never understands when grandpa speaks joyfully about his memories of being a hunter grandma noko quietly moves away from her seat every time grandpa gone affirms her belief is heard from someone. She strikes the cutting board forcefully with a knife. I'm tired of this. To wait for someone's return after months and years of sadness crushes my heart. I make someone wait for me. Then the door opens and a warm voice echoes. A chubby child enters holding a plant. The child exclaims, I caught the Lake Lord for real. Well, let's honor the whole island with it. Jin replies, I always, always wanted to be the person I want to be with. Together, always, the child agrees. Yes, both of them, with broad smiles on their faces. Cook the food. A bird flies away from the island over a town and its people, the son of one of them, the daughter of another, and the grandchild of another live in different places. Exchanging smiles, they might be the children of that character and the grandchildren of that character. The bird flies away into the distance. In the background, a figure watches the scene. I understand Togashi's purpose of this, but this does not give me any good feeling or resolution or it just leaves me more questions because, okay, Gon had kids, they had kids and it's somewhat continuing the cycle. Like Jin obviously is going to leave and become a hunter. But bro, this actually creates more issues for me as the reader. And that's why he's saying this is not the ending that I know people are not going to like because it's just so many more questions. It makes you wonder, how did we get here i don't love it it's just 
creating a cycle of, hey, what happens next or what happened before that? And I guess Togashi understands that. Now, C and B, they have higher approval rates by his speculation, but they're not the best. Ideally, he just wants to end the story. He wants to, how he wants to end the story. All in all, I'm I'm saddened by it. Um, I don't, I don't know, this doesn't make me feel good. It doesn't make me feel good. Make, I, I just This is a passion thing for Tagashi. I doubt it's a money thing. He just wants to complete his story, but his health. I'm sure there are a lot of people, I've said it before, like, why not have someone else draw for you? You just write the story. But it's, I guess it's, he wants to be hands-on. It. I mean, at this point, it's, bro, you kind of have to do what you got to do. You need other people's help or you're not going to finish your story. Which do you rather? You know, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I hope he changes his mind and have other people draw for him while he just writes the story. That'd be so much easier. And then, of course, selfishly, I would like the ending, but also I care about the person. But I mean, once the translations come out, we can talk about it again. I know this is not the typical video you'd see from me, but I should reveal literally an ending. Like imagine if Oda did that, revealed an ending saying, hey, I don't know if I'm going to be here. Here's an ending that you can have for some closure. This isn't closure. This is not closure. This is torment. But I understand the purpose of it, but it's not closure for me. Not even close to it. <sighs> Give me your thoughts. Now this is making me want to cover Hunter Hunter content. Like, I just want to talk about Hunter Hunter while Tagashi is here. Where hopefully you can one day see my videos. And nah, I'm, I'm playing. That's not the reason. But I, I want to express how I care about this series. Because I really do care about this series. Let me know your thoughts. This is, this is actually insane. If Oda revealed the ending of One Piece, like a D ending, what do you think it would be? Leave below. Maybe I'll discuss that tomorrow.